Good morning, folks. We've got space weather to discuss, the previous eruption, and a new one. We'll see once again that there are no islands in space. We'll look at the South Pole of Venus, a climate story that's going to get me the UN banner again, and geomagnetic extinction. We're using the 211 angstrom view here to note the big southern coronal hole. It magnetically connects to Earth today, so the brief break in seismicity the last few days is more likely to end. You may notice a burst at the northern central active region, and when we take a better look at it with the GOES SUVI images, it is the filament connected to a tiny sunspot area that releases, but it does so directly northward. This eruption will not be coming our way, and that is confirmed on SOHO coronagraphs with the images showing it releasing in that northward direction. You may remember a minor glancing blow was expected over the last day, and it just happened a few hours ago. At the pink box on the right side there, it was indeed minor. No geomagnetic storms are expected from it. First up in the articles today is one that will give veteran observers from the plasma cosmology days a bit of a smile. A psychotically long plasma filament connects huge galaxy clusters. As we said many times when viewing these in the past, while many think of space as an empty vacuum, it's not. And there are no islands in space. It's all connected. Up next, we're coming to Venus, where the south polar vortex is being scoped in greater detail. They find it is highly variable over both time and by altitude, with period breaks in the total column that can actually make twin vortices, not unlike a sudden stratospheric warming does on Earth. Up next, we're finding a significant admission in nature on Arctic climate. They are suggesting that the biases, obviously towards warming and heat, can be as large as the entire expected warming by the end of the century in the models. That is a big stain on the science, and I'm sure I'll get the UN climate banner placed on this video for sharing what the top scientists are admitting. Last but not least, confirmed for the fifth time, the greatest extinction in the history of Earth corresponded to a magnetic pole shift. The geomagnetic reversal marks the same period when the world almost lost it all, whether it's these long cron full reversals or the rapid flip excursions like what's happening right now, there is no escaping the biosphere impact that inevitably leads to extinctions. As we mentioned yesterday, you can learn all about this event, the history and what's expected in the coming years in our easy version book on the disaster cycle. Our store will be closing in a few weeks as we transition everything to Observer Ranch. Grab your copy now or you'll need to come see us in person which we hope you do anyway. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.